Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to Hard Mod Systems. I'm George. Uh, today we're carrying on in this video with the next attempt to create a lighting solution to provide proper lighting for my backdrop. Now, if you watched my previous video, you would have seen the trouble and headache that I went through trying to use the Philips Smart LED lights and different components that went with that. This time, we're going with a different manufacturer and product altogether. We're gonna go with the GoV Glide wall light. Now I purchased three packs of this system. Each pack comes with six light tubes and one corner piece. The uh, description on the website, Amazon, told me that I could connect up to 12 pieces together per unit. So hopefully between the three sets, we can end up with two units that will provide the lighting that I'm hoping to achieve on my back drop. Um, temporarily, for right now, we're using the rail lights that I put in, but I'm just using standard LED GU10 replacement bulbs. They're dimmable, but I haven't installed the dimmer switch yet. So it's a little bit bright for what I want but we're running just two of them on the edges to give us the backlight and I'll get the dimmer switch installed at some point and then we can play with it more because there will be times where I want lots of light and there'll be other times where I just want a softer effect behind me. Uh, eventually as well we'll have something else other than just the paneling to look at um, but it's all going to take time and, and I haven't even decided what it is I'd like to put there yet. Uh, but with that being said, and without further ado, let's start taking a stab at installing the GoV. And hopefully they will connect better than the Philips ones did and uh, provide us with the lighting solution we're hoping to get. So let's just buckle down and get to work with it. Installation of the GoV Glide was really simple. Each piece just locks together and completes the connection. Uh, I ended up uh, reinstalling these a couple of times in slightly different ways um, and that was because I was unable to control as many as I wanted with a controller so I had to split it back up into three controllers one for each side and one at the top. The pieces felt a little bit fragile and I was worried that taking it apart I might break something but I was able to successfully remove them then reinstall them using the same velcro strips that had come with them and uh, they're very well held onto the wall and because they're Velcro I can remove them down the road. As you can see when you first plug them in they do a quick pulse to show you what segments are being recognized and uh, lets you know that everything's good. The software worked perfectly. Everything connected first try with Bluetooth and with Wi-Fi. So I'm super happy with the end result and how easily I was able to work with them. I'm so far very happy with the Govee Glide and uh, I do believe they're going to provide the solution that I wanted and uh, allow me to film videos with better lighting than I have in the past. Well, it's starting to feel like we're getting somewhere. Um, the Govi lights are installed, stuck to the wall. Um, they come with a two-sided or Velcro tape. Um, it's really strong stuff. Uh, it's from the Commander Pro line. Um, it works very well. And uh, installing the Govi Glide, I had to remove them two times after installing them. To get the placement right and that was due to the limitations of the controllers that work with each set so i was hoping to shrink it down to two controllers but we ended up with three and it, it ended up making more sense simply because each side has its own control and the top has its own control also we're still working with the logicam logitech streamcam um, 
this video is being shot on that. But I do have a new camera, a DSLR, uh, Canon EOS T2i. Um, it's an older camera. It's uh, something that I don't have a lot of experience working with, uh, actual photography equipment. And it's going to take me time to learn it. I've done a few tests and I'm happy with it. It will shoot at 1080, 30 frames per second. Um, and it should give me a little better image than what the Logitech cameras or the Razer Kyo Pro or the Creative cams that I was using. Um, but that's going to take me a little bit of time to transition to. As well, I only have one of those and I want to continue to use multi-camera angles. Um, one of the next things I want to do is move my uh, stream deck over to this table. That way I can switch things on the fly. Um, another thing that we need to work on is a little bit more decoration for the set. Right now it's just covered in clutter, uh, electrical components, tools, the Govi glide boxes, and that all needs to be tidied up. Um, I also still have to install the dimmer switch for the rail lights so I can use them. Um, I don't know how much I'll use those um, now that I've got the Govies up and running, but I've installed the rails. I didn't return them. I do have a uh, dimmer switch for the rail lights. So we're going to go ahead and set them up. I'm still going to leave them with a cord plug. That way I can move them down the road if I so choose and use them somewhere else. But for now, we'll leave them uh, the rails up. Um, I've taken the lanterns off for now um, because they were creating a shadow between my front lighting and the backdrop. And I wanted to get, it, get rid of that for now. Um, but they're very simple to reinstall. In a matter of 30 seconds, I can probably install all six of the lamps if I need to down the road. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. The next step's gonna be, like I said, cleaning up the area. The workshop has turned into an absolute disaster again, and that needs to be addressed um, because I'm starting to lose track of where simple things are, like a specific screwdriver or whatever. So we'll get that tidied up and then we'll move forward and get the electrical side done for the uh, rail light. The nice thing about staying with the uh, plug style connector, like I said, is so I can move it somewhere else easily down the road. Um, but I'm also going to be installing when I do that a couple of permanent power plugs. Uh, right now, the Govies are running off an extension cord. Um, so I'd like to get those a little bit more hardwired in. So I want a set of plugins at that corner in the ceiling of the set and at that corner of the ceiling of the set. Um, just for future options and uh, you never know what you're going to need. Um, I also uh, need something easy to work with so that I can set up the little turntable that you've now seen in a couple of my videos. And uh, I know it's kind of cheesy but I get a kick out of it and it's fun to play with which even my grumpy cat Eli got a kick out of. So. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a subscribe. Uh, give us a like if you liked it. Give us a dislike if you didn't. And please leave a comment. Uh, I'm actually struggling to come up with ideas for putting a little bit of decoration on the backdrop. Um, I don't really want to just go with the fake plant that you see in almost every video. Um, I would like something though not more natural um, as you know, I'm a huge pet lover and I actually have uh, pet portraits. I was thinking about putting those up on the wall. A uh, portrait of both Daisy, my dog, and one with all three of my cats. Um, and I'm also a huge collector of tin lunch boxes and different memor movie memorabilia. I'm sure if you've looked, you've seen a few of my different things in my backdrop, such as my King Kong statue. Um, my Cylon uh, collector's edition video box, um, all the way over to my Buzz Lightyear uh, 
toy. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have any ideas, feel free to share them. And uh, I look forward to having a discussion with anybody that watches the videos and wants to contribute ideas or views. Um, criticism is also welcomed. Um, it's the only way I'm going to get better as a content creator. So once again, thanks for watching. I'm George, and we'll see you in the next video.